mother the devil will not fold his arms and watch your five ten eight children rise up to become responsible people no his joy is to steal to kill and to destroy you would think if you start crying once satan will pity you find out who he is there are people crying in hell if he's to pity anybody who start with them not you i don't know about you but for me i've made up my mind as a covenant with god i have no negotiation with satan there are no discussions every time me and he meet he already knows I'm saying this because some of you have allowed the devil lie to you. You are a woman. Don't get into these spiritual things. Some of you, you are a man. Some of you, you are not a prayer warrior. You don't let the devil keep deceiving you and destroy your life. Let me tell you this. See, when Satan wants to destroy a family, his first target is the strongest person spiritually. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. He is not stupid. He will afflict with sickness. He will afflict with pain. He will afflict with frustration. So that when you go down spiritually, that hindrance has cleared the way. He will now settle down and attack. Someone blasts in the spirit in one minute. Not my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Help those under the anointing. in jesus name please sit down let me tell you something please listen to me listen to me listen to me i will not go ahead of myself there is a separate series on deliverance that one will announce it and i will settle down and teach you but can i tell you this i don't mean to scare you but africa listen to me if you are a firstborn listen to me if you are a first male listen to me if you are a last child listen to me if you are a breadwinner listen to me if you are the one who lifts up the head of your family listen to me satan he attacks but there is a protocol to the attack so much ignorance in the body of christ listen please look up look up i want you to pay attention don't you think i'm wasting your time if you are the first to be educated the first for your head to be lifted in your family the first go and read the bible about the laws firstborns not just the first to come out of the womb the first to do anything in life do you know why because the first of anything is the seed and the pattern the first to open a door for a family is the first to create the pattern the first to break out of poverty you think the devil will fold his arms and watch you the first man of god from your village the first man of god from your family the first professor the first married man the first married woman Praise God. Please sit down. Let me try to organize myself this night. Parashataba. Just help those under the anointing. I tell you, God is doing many things as I'm speaking. You came to church. This is Koinonia. No waste of your time at all. Hear me. 
hear me hear me let me tell you one of the ways that satan moves is called the power of patterns you know what patterns are patterns are repetitive occurrences you find out god forbid don't feel bad your grandmother was raped your mother was raped your daughter was raped they never shared it with themselves yet the pattern will find itself again somebody spent 10 years in america returned back to nigeria like an arm robber another person spent 10 years in us or in in in, in, in um, london returned back all those things are patterns let me tell you what patterns are patterns are sponsored by altars even if the initiators of the altars go the altars are still valid they will speak that is the reason why you see nations go through patterns regions go through patterns individuals go through patterns families go through patterns even ministries go through patterns the anointing is not for preachers not the end time anointing the anointing is not just for men of god the anointing is not just for adults help that person please i have seen wickedness in the lives of people i have seen satan dis destabilize the joy and the peace of families i've seen great men of god with potentials to do things for the kingdom but satan just brought them down i've seen business people who would have been the crown of their regions can i tell you the truth believe me when i tell you satan is not a friend learn from his rebellion and his unbendedness satan has never told god sorry he will never tell man sorry just believe that about him so when satan comes around your life and acts like a friend beware of what you are playing with you are not just playing with fire satan is every other thing but he's not stupid and he's not foolish he has an advantage of age and he's using it well please sit down why do we need the anointing to empower the believer to subdue the forces of darkness fighting against our destinies and fighting against the advancement of the kingdom mm. number two why do we need the anointing the second reason why we need the anointing is so that we can tap into the dimension of supernatural possibilities why do we need the anointing to empower us to tap into the dimension of supernatural possibilities results and possibilities that are beyond the realm and the scope of humans in ministry in business in politics you think daniel became an extraordinary politician in a harsh climate just because he could speak good english no even the people consulted through divination and they found out that the spirit of god they called it the gods was upon him they knew that this man was not ordinary and through the dispensation of three or four kings he still remained on top why do we need the anointing to empower us to manifest dimensions of supernatural possibilities i made up my mind as a person and as a man of god that i will never be ordinary that my life and everything about it will be extraordinary always not just because i want a name for myself not at all because I have found out that when you follow the natural course of things, time will cheat you, men will cheat you, systems will cheat you. You need to have an advantage that is beyond the natural course. Are we together? It's good to follow the laws of prosperity I have taught you. But following only the natural laws of prosperity 
safe journey you will see when god will bless you or you will see when you'll be empowered in this wicked and evil world when you are one lord to break through an evil man will reverse you back to start again more than compliance with the laws they are there and they are important i've taught you but there has to be an engracing that can pick you on the wings of the spirit remember that the unit of destiny is time that's why god brought possibilities like speed like restoration these are forces that insist and ensure that you live a victorious life are we learning now in acts chapter 7 and verse 22 let's look at two scriptures very quickly acts chapter 7 and verse 22 media please help us the bible says and moses was learned in all the wisdom of the egyptians and was mighty in words and in deeds look at such a man do you know what that meant even though he was not an egyptian he did not have the history there was a supernatural engracing upon him he learned the wisdom of the egyptians he was mighty both in words and in deed they were preparing moses already the level of excellence from his life he was inevitably going to be the next pharaoh that's why when he returned you see as at the time moses returned back to egypt the pharaoh he left had died it was his son Ramesses who was his friend that was why when Moses looked at him and said Pharaoh I'm sure Ramesses would look at him and say dear brother good to see you after over 40 years the only difference is that you have returned back stupid you were wiser when you left you've forgotten that this is Egypt you come and stand looking like a fugitive with a staff and tell me some deity you met in the forest said I should come and release these people who have been in captivity for 430 years Moses you have the wisdom of the Egyptians and he said all right I'm not here for a long story let the rods I told you that they are also preachers I finished my preaching let the rod start his own sermon and when he threw the rod it became a serpent I can imagine Pharaoh laughing and saying you still remember and he called Janus and Jembes the wizards of Egypt and they came and made caricature of the rod of Moses. They threw Pharaoh's rod. It also became a serpent. And God used that. Most of you have not discerned the sermon of the rods. Those rods preached a message that you need to understand. You have heard the sermon of men, but understand the sermon of the rods. Do you know what happened? The rod that became a serpent ate that of the man and did not increase in size. And he picked it up. That is a sermon. Dominion over time and matter is real dominion. God was saying something there. Oh, but I'm not impressed enough. And then one plague after another. You can see that Pharaoh was not a normal human being. You can see the Luciferian manifestation. This is why some of you need to pray for your children. You flog them, they come back and see misbehave. They come out of jail. They come out of the prison cell. Will you do it again? No. Two days, they are back again. It's not normal. That determination is not a human determination. It came from, it's an antichrist spirit empowering people like that.